Hey guys, Derek here, car 839. I've got it apart doing some work on some other stuff. And while I've got it there, I am going to block off this side of the intake uh, so that the clutch is only pulling from one side and we're not sharing air between the, the engine intake and the, uh, the clutch intake. I believe that under full power, when you need the most air to the clutch to keep it cool, that the engine is creating a negative pressure and actually not allowing air to flow into it. So uh, others have come to that similar conclusion that this needs to be separated what is on this one here. And so let me show you what I what I did. I was at Home Depot last night. Let me show you my... So my first one. solution was, hey, I'm just going to get a rubber sewer cap. Uh, so I picked up both of them. Uh, I got a three inch and a four inch. So the, the problem with the four inch is it's way too big. And the problem with the three inch is it's too small. Now I could put the original hose clamp on it and then put the the four inch one over it and then that would block it off. So I'd have two items on there, but I, uh, to do that, I believe I'd need to cut this down. I'm kind of one, I don't want to change anything. So my solution is I found this guy here. This is a, uh, a knockout blockout plug for sewer and is what I've found is it fits perfectly into this is the uh, the gasket that goes on here it fits perfectly inside diameter on that and so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this outer lip off of it and I'm going to insert it into this ring and I should be able to install this all back together having this blocked off at this section intake engine intake drawing only from this side belt drawing from this side and we won't have any crossover air so let me show you that so i took my handy dandy fast cap flush cut uh cutters here and all i did was i trimmed that little ridge off of there you can see clean that up got some scraps down there but now this fits perfectly i've got the hose clamps off of this the bed off you get a nice little workbench area this fits perfectly into that this slot right here boom 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 and i have already test fitted this yeah, it wasn't com feeling comfortable about the fit and so with just a handy dandy sharp razor knife this has got a little joint on it here to hold it that drops into that channel there so it can't come loose it had about on each side it had about an eighth of an inch of material sticking out of it uh in front of that 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 lip there so I just went around that really easily, shaved that off with a razor knife. And then the other thing I did is inside my connector over here, I also trimmed the height of that down uh, by about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch to make that smaller, to give it a little bit of room in there so that we're not scrunching things up too tight. Okay, this is the system all buttoned back up. So it's got the block off in there. Everything looks stock. I didn't have to do any major modifications or cutouts or anything like that. Simple, really about you know a half hour to an hour of work to get to that location if you wanna do this. Hope this helps out.